what we do, we help people share short form videos and learning experiences and connect them to long form experiences. So in my previous company, we were working directly with students all across the country in K-12. And now in my new business, we're focused on adult learning. And parts of the adult learning platform that we're building is the fact that we believe learning is better with a guide. We also believe that learning is better in community, so that's how we're trying to connect together the shared experiences amongst people within an organization to help that whole organization get better. So this being my second software business that I've started is something I think people would be interested to learn and surprised is the fact that Building software and building a company like this is not a linear process. You start the process off and you have an idea and some assumptions around that idea. And then through customer feedback, customer discovery, you develop your idea and that usually takes you in different paths. So sometimes where you thought you were going originally is not where you end up and you have to be comfortable through the process in order to get there. So I think what people would be surprised to learn about me is that I'm comfortable with a high level of ambiguity in terms of the process of which I'm undertaking. And a big part of that is my faith. Um, you know, I trust in the Lord and believe that I'm going in the right direction. I believe that learning is a calling in my life. That's originally why I became a teacher and started working with students. And now I'm working with adults as well in that way. But the process really is difficult because sometimes you don't know exactly where you're going to go. Um, there's a lot of unknowns. And so emotionally, sometimes it's, it's an up and down battle. But thankfully, if you have good people that are surrounding you, um, in my example, you know, my, my wife is very supportive, my family is very supportive, and that makes it a, a better journey. But the reality is there are a lot of moments that are very difficult um, when it's quiet and you're focused and you're trying to figure out what the next steps are. What makes me feel good about the future is I do believe that people want to find purpose in what they're doing. They want to find meaning in what they're doing. And you see this in a lot of people's lives. Sometimes they're going down different tracks. Sometimes they're even going down the wrong road and they realize that. And you see these life changes that happen inside of them. And right now, I think in this world that we're facing, there's a lot of new advancements in technology. There's going to be a lot of job changes, a lot of shifts in the, in the environment, in the workforce. And I think people are going to have to take on an attitude of learning and finding their purpose in order for them to make these shifts and make these changes. And I believe people could do that. And so that's really what makes me positive about the future. What concerns me about the world today really is leadership. So when we think about the fact that we are called to pray for our leaders, and the reason why we do that is so that we can live peaceful lives. And the challenge today is that a lot of people live inside of their own individual echo chamber, um, whether it's in social media or just inside of their small groups, and they think that people are so much different than themselves. And the reality is when we get together with other people, whether they have different backgrounds or they look different than us, we can number one, learn a lot from them. We can empathize with their situations. And the reality is we realize that we have a lot more in common with them. So I think what would make our community a better place to live really is if more people took on an attitude of servant leadership. Um, leadership can have many different forms and the reality is some people look at it as domination or something like that. But for being a servant leader, you really take on and embody that idea of I am my brother's keeper. And I think that is so important as we look at our community is not to look at people as being different than us or outside of our own circle, but really taking on that servant mentality and being able to help them and that will help our community. Well, I would give someone the advice that you think about someone that's well-rounded and you think, okay, they have a lot of different skills that they can do. And the reality is when you're just starting off, you don't have those experiences. So I think it's important for you to actually design 
the experiences that you need over time. So if you think about it, if you want to develop skills in the area of, say, people, leadership, or management, you're going to have to spend some time doing that. So maybe schedule yourself for a few years of learning in that way. Um, if you think about software development, you may need to have quote unquote 10,000 hours of work in. So that's five years of work in that particular area. So don't look at your career or your life as one trajectory. Look at it as these smaller subsets of skills that you want to develop and build. And then over time, that'll help you to become a quote unquote well-rounded person. Well, the quote that I would put on a billboard for everyone to see would be from FM Alexander and it says, people do not decide their futures, they decide their habits and their habits decide their futures, which I think is very important. As you think about learning and adding skills to your skill set, it's going to be very important for you to do this over time. And also the reality is, is that you should do this without complaining and grumbling. So if you have a positive attitude and a willing attitude, that's going to make all the difference in terms of what your habits are. And that's what I would put on a billboard.